Welcome to this review of the Shure amplifier module. This is a class D module specified to deliver up to 2 times 50 watts into 4 ohms loads. However, I will be using it with a laptop supply that has only 16 volts output and therefore we will expect to see a little bit less than the 50 watts. Uh, we'll see later how much. Looking at the setup here, we have resistive loads 4 ohms uh, for the amplifier. I've short-circuited the inputs for the moment. Later on we will drive this through a Bluetooth module and actually have a signal generator from my smartphone. The multimeter will give us an RMS reading for the output power and the oscilloscope uh, looks at the output signal. This is the measurement of the noise when the inputs are shorted from the module. Uh, 15 millivolts roughly RMS, which looks pretty okay on channel 1. Channel 2 measurement uh, of the noise when the inputs are shorted. We are seeing a 28 millivolts measurement here, which is okay, but for some reason higher than on the other channel. You are seeing as well here the 385. Uh, kilohertz base frequency of the class D module. So now I'm feeding through the Bluetooth module a sine wave of 1 kilohertz into the power amplifier. Still hooked up both channels to the 4 ohm loads and as you can see we are close to 10 volts so that's equals 25 watts and we are just approaching, if I crank the volume up a little bit louder, we are just approaching clipping. So 25 watts without getting into clipping both channels. And I'm running this now for quite some time and I can still touch the heatsink here. So it is not overheating, it seems to sustain that power level. So now we are looking at the uh, spectrum of the signal and on the x-axis we have 10 dBs per uh, section here and in this representation 40 dB uh, are roughly e equal to a distortion of 1%. 20 dB would be roughly equal to 10% distortion. And as you can see there are quite some peaks here on that level which is a little bit more than 40 dB down from here so again roughly uh, at 25 watts, slightly above actually, uh, <coughs> we're at the 1% level. Now cranking up the volume higher you get quickly more distortion as you would anticipate and at this level we are getting to 10% roughly at 11 volt RMS. Okay, now getting to the damping factor. We're having 8.11 volts loaded. When I disconnect the load, 8033 which is uh, a delta of 0.22 volts and that gives us an internal resistance of 108 milliohms and a damping factor of about 37. So at this roughly 10% uh, distortion we're, we're reaching at 11 volts uh, roughly 30 watts and the signal now looks like this so we're clearly into the clipping at this 10% distortion. Okay, now getting to the damping factor. We're having 8.11 volts loaded. When I disconnect the load, 8.33, which is uh, a delta of 0.22 volts and that gives us an internal resistance of 108 milliohms and a damping factor of about 37. One more thing that I observed with this module is that if you have a frequency that is slightly over 1 kilohertz at 
1100 and about uh, up to 8, 9, 10 kilohertz. The module actually makes a noise. It's maybe difficult to hear. Anyway, it may be that this, these are the inductors that are not uh, glued internally with some kind of epoxy glue, but they seem to be just uh, plain inductors. Okay, continuing. So, in the meantime I've decided that I'm not going to use Bluetooth because I saw some issues with high frequency distortion and the frequency response on this particular module that I'm using. So now it's a wired connection into uh, the module. I have configured a sweep from 20 to 20 kilohertz with my signal generator app that I've got from uh, the, the Windows Phone App Store and is running on my Lumia 820 and as you can see the frequency response is essentially flat. Uh, we'll maybe do some detailed measurements later on but for the moment it looks okay. All in all, I have to say, this module provides pretty good performance for the price, definitely. And you can use it uh, with the 16 volt supply that I've been using at 2 times 25 watts roughly. You can really use it uh, without being too much worried about uh, overheating. And so it's a very good basis for activating a passive speaker, uh, in my opinion.